LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. <laughs> oh, I can't stand it. I told you I've been waiting. I've been waiting. There's a God. There's a God in heaven. Y'all know there is a God. I said, Lord. I said, dear Lord. I said, I want to see Antonina in an MMA bout. God, I like Muay Thai. But I said, Lord, I want to see Antonina Shevchenko in a Muay Thai matchup. And the Lord has answered my prayers. <laughs> I can't stand it. I can't stand it. But before I start with this uh, post-fight analysis, who is this popcorn Pop-Tart for? Who is this popcorn Pop-Tart for? Did this guy go to Popcorn Pop-Tart for university? This is the referee that officiate this battle. And let me tell this. Let me tell you something, referee. And, 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 and let the coach tell you something right now. He yelled at Pavel and told Pavel, sit down. Wait a minute. You don't talk to Pavel like that. You don't tell Pavel what to do. Pa this is one of the greatest minds in MMA, and you had the audacity to disrespect Pavel, raising your voice at Pavel Fedotov. Pavel has a plan. And i tell you something, ref. I'm going to be waiting on that apology to Pavel. You better damn well know. You better apologize. <sighs> okay. I'm going to stop going in on this ref, and let's talk about this fight. Listen, man, this was a master class by Antonina Shachenko. It was a straight-up master class. Antonina beat the hell out of this woman, okay? Now, got a lot of respect for Anissa. She took this fight on short notice, okay? She took it on short notice, and this girl came to fight. She pressed the action, okay? This, you know, and this is, she's a pretty good striker. You know, she's good, but it's levels to this, okay? It's levels to this, and to be honest, she was not on the striking level of Antonina Shevchenko. She was nowhere close. And it was like Antonina was seeing openings. She was catching this girl, counterpunching this girl, overhand righting this girl, face push kicking this girl, kicking this girl to the body. I mean, man, whatever Antonina wanted to do, that's what she did. In the first round, it was kind of tentative. You know, they were both kind of trying to fill each other out. And Antonina did something surprising. She was actually waiting on um, Anissa to commit to her offense so she can counterpunch. So... Round one was purely a stand-up battle. You know, Antonina was catching this girl, man. Could grief catching this girl with straight left hands. I'm talking about, it was ridiculous, man. And Anissa never made an adjustment to the left hand. And also, too, I was just, I was floored, man, like how much of a beautiful, like, work of art Antonina is when she's doing what she's doing. You know, like, this girl Anissa, she kept trying to press forward later on in the first round. And then Antonina was catching this girl with some beautiful body kicks, man. Beautiful body kicks, beautiful counter left hands. I mean, man, I mean, it was beautiful. And then in round two, I was sitting here thinking, okay, God, I want to see Antonina, how she going to look on the ground. You know, I want to see that. You know, I really want to see. And then, you know, as soon as I was thinking that in my head, Antonina took this girl down. You know, she took her down. And I actually got to see how Antonina operates on the ground. And she immediately started to, you know, try to ground and pound. Uh, Anissa, she did a good job of really deflecting some of those shots and, she didn't absorb as much damage on the ground as she did in stand-up, you know. Um, Anissa was kind of, uh, she was holding Antonina's arms to keep Antonina from throwing a lot of punches. And this ref, though, he was in such a hurry, man, to break these girls up when they were trying to work. And I know points in the fight, Anissa was trying to work uh, to get position on Antonina, and then he would break him up. And I'm like, what is this dude? Like, where did they get this guy? I think they literally got this guy from Popcorn Pop Top Fart University. I, I think they did, Okay. I mean, there's something wrong with this guy. And and, and, and and a referee, you know, he damn near looked like he was high. I actually thought he was high, man. I was like, damn, that dude looked high. And then in the third round, it was pretty much some of the same. Antonina, you know, had a beautiful takedown. And she started unleashing a lot of ground and pound, man. You know, it's good because Anton you can still see that Antonina is still really Muay Thai heavy. And that'll change the more, you know, like ring time or, you know, more octagon or whatever where she was in the ring this time. But... The more time she gets, you know, inside of the MMA environment, then you'll see that some of the more time that she was really heavy on, that that's going to change. You know, she's going to be more MMA heavy, but she was really more tie heavy. And I started thinking, you know, if a good grappler, you know, were to pick up on that, would they be able to take her down? But Antonina, her takedown defense in this particular fight was good, man. It was real good. I can't really rate her takedown defense based on this fight. But I can rate her striking. I can rate her striking because uh, this Anissa girl, she done been in a lot of kickboxing and Muay Thai matchups. I mean, I knew I knew who this was because I done looked at like at least like five of her fights on YouTube. 
So I knew that this Anissa girl could throw hands. I knew she had some hands. I knew she did. But, um, you know, it was different, man. I knew that her hands were not better than Antonina's. It was just, it's crazy, man. This girl, Antonina, is about 30 levels above this girl. And this girl is good, okay? She is good. She's very good. But Antonina got the best of her. And two, you know, I think if Anissa had a longer training camp, I think she probably would have done better in the fight. I still don't think she would have won the fight, but I think she would have did better. And basically, Antonina just did whatever she wanted to do to this girl, man. She did whatever she wanted. And whatever punch she threw, it landed. I mean, this girl's face is messed up, man. Like, she gonna, I know she's going to have like three or four titties on her face tomorrow. I, I can guarantee you that's what's going to happen, okay? I know it. Also, too, man, I like how Antonina, she threw a few overhand rights, man. I was like, wow, man, Antonina is pulling out all the tricks in this particular fight. But that straight left hand, that counter left hand, that was probably her most dangerous weapon that kept uh, catching Anissa off guard. And she couldn't, you know, Anissa never made any adjustments. And I'm thinking, you know, for this to be such a good striker, you know, you would think that a striker would make adjustments, but she couldn't. She could not make those adjustments, man. She couldn't do it. And, and then whenever she tried to make an adjustment, okay, whenever she tried to, it's like Antonina would change up. And Antonina, you know, kept going to southpaw. Then she'd go back to orthodox. You know, she'd go to the right hand. And so Anissa, she was confused. She didn't know where the strikes were coming from. She didn't know of a head kick. Antonina landed several brutal head kicks, man. But now one thing that I noticed that I think that Antonina would, would benefit from definitely is more upper body strength her leg strength is very good but her upper body strength i notice you know she's hitting the punches and with, with a lot of like good snap and a lot of pop on them but i know that the strength the punches don't have the power and now that's just you know that's me looking at it from my eye you know and you know what i used to give uh athletes in general that need upper body, upper body strength because fighters they tend to worry about gaining mass or being too muscular so they lose their flexibility but I used to start, I put a lot of other fighters and a lot of the track athletes, I put them on hand cleans. Not power cleans, but hand cleans because those can actually increase your upper body strength and you're, you're not growing muscle mass. It's just going to make you more explosive and more strong, you know. She would benefit from some of those exercises. I mean, it, it, it would make a huge difference. But man, nonetheless, man, God, this is a good fight. It was good and I finally got God, God, answer my prayers. Thank you, Lord. But this is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.